My name is Rashawn and I go to George. <laughs> oh, my name my name is Rashawn. I'm fourth grade and I go to George Rush Montessori in Durham, North Carolina. Let's try it again, but slow it down. Okay. Hello, my name is Rashawn. I'm a fourth grader and I go to George Rush Montessori in Durham, North Carolina. When I get old, I'm gonna be real cool. Sitting on the porch. Rashawn Burt is nothing like your ordinary kid. For everything that he is, bright, fun-loving, passionate about his friends, mischievous, there's definitely one thing that describes him most, the life of the party. Rashawn comes from a loving family in Durham, North Carolina. He has an older sister, Amari, who's one of the sweetest girls you'll ever meet. Rashawn hangs out the most, though, with his older brother, Denzel. They've invented all sorts of games to play outside at his grandma's house when the weather is nice. From soccer to being a soldier, Rashawn and his brother have done it all. Sometimes the whole family gets together to watch football on the weekends. Rashawn, his mom, his siblings, and his grandma, who loves teasing Rashawn. At other times, Rashawn also hangs out with the neighborhood kids, old and young. Rashawn comes from a very tight-knit community. Rashawn's family is very proud of him, and they have every reason to be. After all, at George Watts Montessori School in Durham, he's a fourth grader who's full of potential. Every school day, Rashawn catches the bus to Watts. On the bus, he's constantly the center of attention, always ready with a joke, a piece of gossip, and sometimes a bit of teasing for his friends. Here's what he has to say about it. When they say jokes about me, I go right back around and say jokes about them, and my jokes are better. Rashawn's teacher at Watts is Mr. Rogers, a graduate of UNC who, like Rashawn, is also always the center of attention. This is especially true on the reading rug, where Mr. Rogers' enthusiasm for storytelling really draws in every student. Not with a gun! Graham yells. Not in this house! I won't have it! Oh, I can't stand it! How could they do that to us? How could they? In the classroom, Rashawn is an excellent student. He is a good test taker. And as a fourth grader, he sure takes a lot of them. Although he's not always fond of the subject matter at school, he's a constant thinker and can be really focused when he needs to be. But at other times, he's also never afraid to let his classmates know what he thinks. Rashawn especially loves the globe in Mr. Rogers' room and shows his friends all the places he wants to go at every opportunity. On Fridays, Rashawn also works with a tutor, Jamal. My tutor is named Jamal and he's from Duke. And mostly when he comes, we talk about football, but he does help me when I need help. Maybe Rashawn likes to spend a bit more time talking with Jamal about football than homework. Rashawn takes art class with Miss Purple. Where did Miss Purple get her name? Well, her entire classroom is purple, purple, purple. In our class, the kids are working on a project about famous sculptures from around the world. Rashawn's friend Avi chose the Washington Monument. Because Rashawn is so talkative and mischievous, he gets in trouble a lot. Every day I get in trouble. I get in trouble for doing something. It's either talking, playing around doing that, but it's fun. All the kids in Mr. Rogers' class love to have fun, and Rashawn is definitely no exception. Rashawn's favorite subject is recess, and his favorite place at Watts is, you guessed it, the playground. During recess, Rashawn plays his favorite sports, soccer and basketball, and his favorite activity, girls versus boys. Well, we play girls versus boys, and the girls always win, except for me, because there's a bunch of weak old boys on my team. 
but I'm Rashawn's one. Rashawn's reputation precedes him. And I think he's a nice guy just inside of all that sweat. Eva! For the kids at Watts, recess is not always peaceful. And that's why it can also be really exhausting. Mr. Rogers' class is in constant movement. Earlier this year, they had the opportunity to go on a field trip to Stagville Plantation, just outside of Durham. At Stagville, Rashawn and his class learned about slavery and toured plantation houses from the 19th century. But the trip wasn't all about learning. The kids also had a lot of fun. They even had some visitors. Mr. Rogers loves acting and drama. But more than he loves theater, he loves teaching theater to his kids at Watts. That's why this year, Mr. Rogers' class embarked on their most ambitious project yet, a Shakespeare performance in front of the entire Upper L at Durham School of the Arts. Every Friday, Rashawn and his class practice, practice, practice because many kids, like Rashawn, had never acted before. First, they had to become comfortable with performing in front of a crowd. For Rashawn, this wasn't a big deal at all. The class supported each other, had a great time, and when the performance day finally came, everyone was simply stellar. As you can see, Rashawn Burt is really no ordinary kid. As the life of the party at George Watts, Rashawn has a lot of great days ahead of him. Cause I never was a kid in the background, just a class clown, but who's laughing now? My mom's proud when she saw me in the cabin gown. It feel great to see my family proud, but I make mistakes too. My people always tell me, Mac, please don't ever let the fame change you. They say I'm so different, but it ain't true. Still got the same girl, bro.